In this video, we'll be learning how to solve multi-step equations with fractions. Our example is 10 equals negative 3 fifths times the quantity of w minus 1 third. When we see a number before the parentheses, it means to distribute. So I need to distribute this negative 3 fifths to the variable w and also to the negative 1 third. I'm definitely going to take the sign that's in front of the one third when I do the distributive property. So we're going to go ahead and bring this 10 down. We don't need to work with it right now. And then we see negative 3 fifths times W is a negative 3 fifths W. Negative 3 fifths times a negative one third. I'm going to go ahead and write this as two fractions so I could deal with it a little bit later. You can skip this step once you get better at multiplying fractions together. But for this example, I'm going to keep these fractions here until we do the next step. Our next step is 10, bring down the 10, equals negative 3 fifths W. And then we see a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. And then we see 3 times 1 is 3 and 5 times 3 is 15. So 3 over 15 can be simplified down to 1 fifth. If I went too fast in that section, another thing that I can do is I can cross cancel, and this 3 cancels out with this 3, leaving me a negative, and a negative is a positive, and I have 1 over 5. Now let's see, we need to isolate this variable w. So with that, I am going to need to get one, or actually I'm going to multiply by getting rid of these fractions first. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator or the common denominator, which is 5. And so I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 over 1. Now, 5 times 10 is 50, 50 over one is just 50. Keeping my equal signs in line with each other, I'm gonna take five times a negative three is a negative 15. Negative 15 divided by five is a negative three W. Five times one is five divided by five is plus one. Now we have 50 equals negative 3w plus 1. This plus 1 is attached to the w, so I'm going to take it using the inverse operations. I'm going to add a negative 1 to both sides. This will give me 49 is equal to a negative 3w. We then will divide by a negative 3 on both sides. And then I'm going to move this over here. This is going to come up to form my answer. And so W will equal a negative 49 over 3. Now I can simplify that and put it into a mixed number if your teacher asks you to do so and three goes into 49 16 times. It'll be 16 and one third. Now let's go through and check our work because we have, we're dealing with a lot of fractions. So let's go ahead and check. Let's rewrite our equation once again. 10 equals a negative three fifths times the quantity of and I'm going to insert my answer. So I'm going to insert a negative 49 over 3 minus 1 third. So when I simplify, we will have 10 equals negative 3 fifths. We're going to Simplify inside the parentheses first. So I have a negative 49 thirds and a negative one third, which gives me a negative 
50. So let's try this one more time. Let's, let's erase here. We're going to have a negative 50 over 3. Now, there's so many ways I can handle this. I can multiply my numerator, multiply my denominator, then simplify. Or I can cross-cancel, where I could see that 3 can cancel out this 3. And negative and a negative is a positive. And then 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 50 10 times. And so then I can see that this equals positive 10. And this checks out. All right? So remember when we're dealing with multi-step equations, we look, if we see parentheses, we might have to use distributive property. Take it slow, one step at a time. Try not to skip steps when you're dealing with fractions because then it can get really confusing. And also try to be as systematic as possible making sure we keep our equal signs in line with each other so it doesn't get too confusing where then we lose our steps and we leave out negative signs. So make sure you also check your work at the end. Try more problems on Math is Simple um, YouTube channel and hope you guys, wish you guys the best of luck and keep working at it.